full cart. Good video. Let's do this shit. This couldn't happen. So today I thought that um, it'd be a good idea to answer questions and get really fucking high. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm already a little bit, I'm already a little bit there. I'm feeling the vibe, definitely. Let me just throw out a disclaimer right now before I fucking get grilled for this video. Question number uno, how many tattoos do you have? No. Shit, dos, tres. I just got this one like two months ago. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get a mountain range. Yeah, it's super rest, cheesy, whatever. Like right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look hot. I'll insert pictures like next slide or whatever. What kind of car do you drive? Um, I currently don't drive a car at all. Yeah, I'm 18 years old, but like, I don't. I'm afraid to drive. I'm a pretty fucking bad driver. I'm the only 18 year old without a license at my school. It's great. Next question is, how do you deal with fake friends? Or um, how do you get that toxicity out of your life? I don't know if I, if I pronounced that right. Um, how I deal with that is um, I fucking subtweet. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, um, I confront them about it. See um, how to change that shit. But if they're just total dicks to you around their friends and then they're buddy-buddy with you when you guys are alone, it's kind of fucked up. That actually just recently happened to me. And how I dealt with it is I didn't really care anyways because it's part of life. Who fucking cares? I'm not going to know these people after high school. I didn't really care that much. So how I would deal with it is um, just talk to them about it. If there's no solution to that at all, um, just... Tell them you don't want to be friends anymore. Shit, be honest, be straight up. You want to keep feeling like shit around that person? Or do you want to move on with your life and make more friends that'll build you up in life instead of bringing you down? That's how I look at it. I get that um, some people you're going to be really close to that are going to do that to you, but in the end, you kind of just got to remind yourself that life goes on. What are your tattoo meanings? This heart does not mean anything. I literally got it when I was 14 because I thought it was cute. And I did it myself when my parents were at home. When my mom found out, she thought I was cutting myself because I had a band-aid. So she took it off and um, she was surprised. And then she threw a hairbrush at me. The rose is for my grandma. She has a rose tattoo on the same wrist. So I decided to get one too. This one, um, I actually just got in December because it was my birthday. Um, I got it for my 18th birthday. It doesn't mean anything. I just thought it was cool because I drew it. So I thought I'd get like something that I like on myself that I drew that's kind of original. Let's um, read some mean ass fucking questions while we're at it too. Um, why are your eyes so space far the fuck apart? Um, Bitch, I don't fucking know. Next mean question. Your hair looks fucking stupid. Why did you dye it? Then my hair, cause why not, bitch? Next question is, um, who's that fucking person in the back of your phone case? We see him all the time. He's not your boyfriend. Why are you cheating? First the fuck of all, he's gay, dude. That's what all girls say. Okay, well, why did you dye your hair blue? I did my hair blue because I needed a change. I haven't dyed my hair since, what, seventh grade with fucking Kool-Aid. So I was like, okay, whatever, why not? Who the fuck cares? What color are your eyes? I'll just show you, this shit's fucked. Um, my eyes are green, blue, and brown on top on this one. Um, I have heterochromia. You guys have probably heard of it because a lot of animals have it and they're really cute. Like huskies. Huskies have a lot of this stuff. Um, basically what it means is my eye color didn't fully develop. So like only half my eyes brown. What kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 8 plus. Weird question. How many pets do you have? Um, currently at my house, I have 
my fish chi and my two frogs dakota and um dart at my other house my grandparents house i have um one two three four four bearded dragons no five. Oh shit i have five bearded dragons and um 40 in the incubator so i have a lot of pets soon um i have a ball python Ooh, what else do i have Oh my god i have a dubia colony does that count i'm gonna insert pictures of all of them in the next thing um because i have a lot so oh my god i think i'm dying you said hey and i said hello what's your name i'd really like to know about you too bad i stopped at next question is why did you start youtube if I'm gonna be honest, not like maybe like 70% of this community, um, I need money. <laughs> I thought it was fun, cause why not? I mean, I'm gonna sit on my ass anyways, I might as well sit on my ass and fucking do something. I need to meet David Dobrik. Question number other something. Are you a stoner? Um, I don't fucking know, am I? Next question is, are you single? And, um, no, I'm not single. As you can see, the fuck ton of balloons from Valentine's Day yesterday. You know, when I was supposed to post this video. But I didn't because I'm lazy as shit. Next question is, can you cook? Um, no. Anything that I cook, my body won't eat unless it's noodles because... You can't fuck up noodles. I didn't even know you could do that. I just kind of was fucking around. Next question is, are you 18 and are you in high school still? Yes, I'm 18 and I'm fucking legal. I'm a senior in high school. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this BS. What state do you live in? I live in California. I live in Southern California. Right now, the weather's pretty shitty. Anybody who's living in so Southern California right now knows that this weather is bullshit. Next question is, do you prefer frogs or do you prefer your bearded dragons? Um, I prefer my bearded dragons. <laughs> They're my babies. Question number 600. Um, do you have a job? Yeah, yeah, I have a job. I work at a cake place. It's lit. Next question is, um, do you have something you're good at? Um, I'm pretty good at drawing. I'm pretty good at painting. I'm pretty good at aquascaping. I have a thing for aquascaping. Like, I'll insert a video of my fish's tank. <laughs> Next question is, um, why did you spend $150 on your fish? Um, I'll give a couple reasons as to why I spent $150 on this fucking fish. Um, one being I tried to prove a point because my boyfriend and my mom tried to fucking tell me that I was gonna kill the fish. But no, no, I only killed the other one. It killed itself. It jumped out of the bowl trying to eat the other one, and then the other one got fucking scared, had a fish heart attack, and then fucking died. So it's not my fault that they fucking tried to go at it. Fucking one of them tried to throw hands, it's not my fault. Second reason is because he's pretty, he's beautiful. Why wouldn't I spend that much money on him? He's a cute fish. Fucking $20 beta fish. I'm gonna keep it alive. My rude ass fucking boyfriend decided to call me. As I'm saying that, when you fucking see the balloons back there and all that shit. I got my uh, glasses at iBuyDirect. Um, I saw these glasses at my doctor's office. They were Ray-Bans or some shit. They looked exactly like these, and I wanted them so goddamn motherfucking bad. Literally, they were $300, and I was like, holy fucking shit. So I decided to go on one... Fuck. 
I saw these glasses fucking for $300 and I really wanted them. So I was like, okay, fuck, I'm not paying for that shit. So I decided to just go on the fucking internet and look up um, glasses. So I did and I found these. $48 plus the UV protection plus the no scratch. I love it. Plus thinner, um, thinner lenses. Because with me, like, you know how, you know you're blind when you see these lines inside your glasses <laughs> so um i don't like my lenses thick because i always get them thick because i can't fucking see shit so it's really nice that they offer that option this is not sponsored by the way not in at all but if you want to sponsor me sponsor me girl they didn't even take long to ship either it was like a week or two and that's pretty great for um a website like that because they have to build the glasses and all that shit I'm sorry, I'm not that sorry